At the ends of the tail pulley blocks, there are adjustment screws. Using a 3 quarter inch Allen key, rotate clockwise to increase tension and counterclockwise to decrease tension. Too much belt tension will reduce the life of the belt lacings, bearings, and rollers. To remove either pulley, the belt tension must be decreased. The lacing rods as well as the belt is then removed. If the tail pulley needs replacing, first the adjustment screws need to be removed. Then one of the pulley blocks is removed by taking out the two fastening bolts found inside the chassis. To replace the motor pulley, disconnect the power source, then disconnect the motor cable, remove the closed end motor pulley block, and slide the motor and cable out. To install the motor pulley, reverse the process. To replace the belt, first disconnect the power source. The belt is attached by feeding the rod through the laces with a needle nose as you see here. The silver picker and belt assembly can be easily cleaned by hand using a cloth with lukewarm water. To the bushings and the rollers as and when required. Do not over lubricate the bushings to avoid grease buildup. At the ends of the tail pulley blocks, there are adjustment screws. Using a 3 quarter inch Allen key, rotate clock.